Hello everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to identify all characteristics of an exponential function. Okay, so let's take a look at the exponential function. It's going to be like this. So it's going to be... <coughs> so the exponential function is going to be y equal a times b power s right here. Alright? So a right here, the value of a right here, okay? You know that only b power s, okay? The value of a right here, this is called the initial value, right? This is initial value, right? Or the y-intercept, y-intercept. B right here, right? This is called constant. ratio okay now we have two different cases okay now um the first case if b greater than one okay if b greater than one and then constant ratio right here is called growth factor all right if b greater than zero but less than one and then this is called decay factor now how's the the graph looks like okay okay so let's look so i have exponential function like this all right so because b greater than one okay so the graph looks like this All right, it's right from left, okay? And then, and then you know that the graph never touch the x-axis. It's getting closer, 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 but never touch the x-axis. All right, so the other one is, is gonna be like this. All right. And the, the graph for from left, like this. So this is the k factor, okay? And this is the broad. This guy right here, okay, the graph right here, happens when A positive, okay? What if A negative, okay? So this is A positive, all right, this is A positive. All right, what if A negative? So A negative is going to be like this. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the sample, okay? And um, y equal now y equal two power s, okay? And then y equal uh negative two power s, okay? All right. So uh, this one in this situation uh, a we don't see anything in front of two power s, so which means a equal one, okay? So a equal one positive, okay? Now, this one, we put one in front of two right here. So a should be negative one, negative, okay? Now we're gonna check it, okay? So we print up the calculator. All right, so we hit y equal y equal 2 to the s, 2 to the s, all right, and then the second one, negative 2 to the s, all right, and you, we hit graph, yeah, you see that, okay, look, we're going to go back to check, the blue one, a positive, it's go, go up, right, it goes up from left, right, uh, the red one negative so it goes down from left okay you grab you see that right okay all right now we're gonna check this one so for uh this one a this is a positive okay 
so it's it's above the x axis now if a negative is below the x axis okay so it's gonna be like this if it's negative it's gonna be like this okay so just let's take a look at the symbol y equal um one half okay to the s and y equal negative one half to the s now keep in mind the negative side outside okay it's not in, inside right here okay the negative should be outside so a greater than zero this one a equal one right the first case a equal one the second case a equal negative one okay so we're going to use the calculator to see if it's right or wrong okay so let's see um hy equal now this one it should be one half right so i put parentheses one half close parentheses okay now the second one all right negative parentheses one half close parentheses right to the power s and a hit graph yeah you see that okay it looks like this positive above the s axis and negative below the s axis all right okay so that's pretty good right okay um so we just explore the growth factor the k factor initial value something okay now we're going to talk about the range and domain okay so you see that and as you thought we okay so i'm going to take a look at this example right here okay so let's see look at this table right here now look at this table how do we know if this table represent an exponential function okay so we need to find the chain in s and uh, the chain in y okay you see that in order to get negative one from negative two i'm going to add one right in order to get zero from negative one i'm going to add one right and then i keep adding one to get the next number right so right okay so that's pretty good for s value now the second one right here for y value right how do i get two thirds from two nine does that mean i need to multiply by three right you look you have two over nine you multiply by three okay so three um three and nine right here cancel out so it's gonna be three right here and this should be one right here that's why i get two third okay that's why i get two third right there so next one in order to get two from two third right here i multiply by three in order to get six from two i multiply by three in order to get 18 from three uh, from six i multiply by three and you see that every single time you want to multiply by three and this is a constant ratio okay that is uh that tells us uh, this is exponential function okay all right so we're going to print up the calculator to cal uh to, to find an exponential function okay so we have this one right here okay so hit we hit start okay go to uh, uh start number one edit and then go to L1 right here. We need to clear the table. Clear. Go to L2. Clear the table. Go down. Okay. Now L1 is going to be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay. So I put negative 2, negative 1, uh, 0, 1, 2. Okay. Now L2 is going to be 2 over 9. Okay. So I have 2 over 9. Next, 2 over 3. Okay. Next, 2, 6, and 18. Okay. Now, next, it start again. Go to count right here. Okay. Now, exponential function, you need to scroll down until you see 0 right here. This exponential function. Hit enter. Now, go to store red right here. Okay hit vars y vars function y1 okay now you hit calculate all right so the exponential function right here should be y equal a times b power s but a for two and b for three okay so i have exponential a for two b for three so so the exponential function should be what
all right so a equal to b equal 3 so y equal 2 parenthesis 3 power s okay now um, we can use the uh, without a calculator we can we can find it easily look uh, this is a constant ratio okay this is a constant ratio and it tells us this is b okay so b equal 3 now the y intercept because a is the y intercept y intercept where where s equals 0 okay so look at this one this is your y intercept s equals 0 uh, this is y intercept okay so a equals 2 that's why we have to get this one and we use a calculator that, that's much better because on the test they, they let you use a calculator so to go ahead use that okay so we have y equal 2 times 3 power s okay so what what next okay so you hit y equal you see that your function right here okay let's just hit graph it's gonna be like this okay so your graph should be right here okay your graph should be right here now i copy the graph now what do you know, uh, what do you know about this function okay so basically uh first you need to find the y intercept y intercept is where the graph meets the y axis so they miss right here so y intercept should be equal to right so y intercept y intercept is 2 or you can write because y intercept is square s is equal 0 okay so s equal 0 comma 2 you either write like this okay or you look at the function right here you see that y intercept is the value of a right here okay the value of a so it should be equal to okay you or you look at the table right here when s equal 0, y equal 2, so this is y intercept, okay. So next one, you need to find the asymptote, right? Asymptote. Right, because you know what? B greater than, B equal 3 greater than 1, right? So the graph grows from, from left to right, right? from left to right okay so and then you see that the exponential function right never touch the s-axis it's getting closer closer to the s-axis okay so the asymptote is the line that very close to the graph but never touch the graph so in this situation the asymptote should be the s axis okay so the asymptote is the s axis s axis y equals zero okay y equals zero so you just say s axis or y equals zero they're both the same okay the domain okay now domain you see that the graph the you see the blue line is keep going forever to the left right First, never touch the s axis okay all right and you see that this guy right here on the right hand side is keep going forever to the right right now every single time you just draw a vertical line you get the s value you draw a vertical line you get the s value and you keep going like this okay you always get the s value on the left now on the right you see that because the blue line keep going forever to the right all right so you see that every single time you draw a vertical line you still get the the s value right s value here s value here s value s value s value and then this guy keep going okay keep going up like this and it tends to the right oh, look and then you you keep draw a vertical line you still get s okay so the domain should be a real number But when it comes to the work problem, you need to be careful, okay? The domain not always all real number. So, okay, we're going to talk about that in another uh, video, okay? Now, we're going to talk about the range. All right, the range. Now, so since the graph never touched the x-axis, you see that? It's getting closer, closer, closer. So, you see that? The x-axis could mean y equals 0. But because the graph never touched the x-axis, so which means y should be greater than 0, okay? 
So you look at the blue line right here, it's always above above the x-axis, right? It's always above the x-axis. You see that? It's from zero all the way up. You see that? And then zero right here is the x-axis. But the rat never touched the x-axis. So it cannot be equal to zero. So y must be greater than zero. Or you can write zero to infinity. Alright guys, that's it. Very simple, right? I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you uh, next time. Bye-bye.